Welcome back, guys, to Club Crib Gaming! We're gonna play a little Binding of Isaac. So, I played this game religiously when it came out last month for uh, PS4. This game is just rude. It is not a nice game. You will die in really fucked up ways that will piss you off. And it's just the content, it's just not nice. That being said, this game is awesome. We're gonna go as Azazel. All right, uh, backstory, sweet. We got the room already. Backstory, you are this guy, not really. You're a different guy, I'm just picking this guy. But you are spit. You are Isaac. Your mother, I hears voices. It says that your mother hears the voice of God telling her some things, but I don't think it's God talking to her, so we're not gonna say that. Uh, I think it's something else, but basically your mom, okay, boss right off the bat, okay. Your mom basically here, what the fuck just got here? Give me that. Your mother? Now that I can, can I finish my sentence? Thank you, game. I said, it's rude, see? It's rude. Your mom's trying to kill you. She comes after you with a butcher knife. You lock yourself in your room, you see her coming out, and you're like, oh shit, what do I do? Let's run. And it just so happens that you find a hole in your room. A little trap door. That trap door takes you to this basement. And that's where we are now. That's pretty much it. So, of course, there's more to it. You're in the basement. Uh, you collect items. There's a lot of different endings to it. Uh, the developer, I believe, is uh, the company is Nicholas. Nicholas. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, but they are adding some more content soon. So, more endings. I believe there are going to be some more characters. Eh, and just more content overall. Uh, they even have a Reddit up. And on the Reddit... Wait, hold on. Secret room! Yes. You can usually tell there's a secret room if you look on the map and it has like three of the sections uh, leading to an empty spot. So just to keep in mind. And if you're wondering why I can't pick that up, that is because I do not have a normal heart slot. With this character, you don't get the normal heart slots. You can pick them up, you can create them, uh, but right now you don't start off with it. But yeah, Nicholas is actually setting up a Twitter, or no, yeah, they are setting up a Reddit page where you can suggest items that'll be in the game, which is pretty fucking cool. I like that. I love it when developers, gaming companies, everything, I just love it whenever they pull you in to the, the creation process. Yes! Just talking about it. Got a real heart. Sweet. Let's go. It's all about the community. And there's his penis. Tiny little pixelated penis. Isaac's life has been hard. Oh. Oh, this is a good round. Oh, this is... Wait a minute. Might be a good round. Okay. You open up doors usually just by walking through them. Usually you have to kill things in order to unlock it. Uh, but for this one, it's an arcade, so you have to pay money. Now, this sucks because... If I touch those, I get money, but they take my life. So if I touch him, he takes my money until he decides to give me something good. He'll take my hearts until he decides to give me something good, and he takes my keys until he decides to give me something good. If you've got a surplus of them, go for it. Otherwise, those guys usually piss me off. There are normal stores, and I like to save my keys for the golden rooms like that guy right there. They do have cards. The tarot cards will... Oh, is that a Minecraft pickaxe? Oh, yes, do I get to kill rocks? What do I... What am I doing here? I don't... Okay, cool. That was cool. So you get a lot of different items that change the gameplay up a lot, like drastically. They'll change what you look like, too, so you can see that heart I got is on my neck. Item multiplier is a cool one, uh, and 
up there in the top corner where he's gonna blow some acid breath. Uh, every time you clear a room and clear all the enemies in it, it'll give you one more of those slots left. So it's a good way of pacing it if you have like an overpowered item, it takes longer to fill up. Um, let's see what Hermit does. Bam! Ooh, that blue map will show you all the secrets. Now on your other playthroughs, you can donate money so you can get those out. If you want to just use a bomb, I just waste mine. Uh, it usually gives you a, a couple of your coins. It just depends on how many you had in there to begin with, but it'll do it subtract one, I think. Ah, oh, you mother fucking... Normally, you can't fly over everything. Uh, of course, I can right now. Let's try our luck. Okay, two keys. Um, but Azelala can fly over things, allowing him to go over rocks, pits, uh, fucking everything. Let's try it now. Can we break rocks? Yes, we can. Break rocks. Break things. They are awesome. Don't break that. It'll blow up on you. Cool. Minecraft. That's the boss room coming up here. And you can blow up. I mean, you can fucking blow up everything. Blow up fire. You never know what's going to be in the fire. Let's see. Okay. Have your phone nearby, too, because half of these items, there's no way you could guess what they do. So you just kind of have to go. Oh, okay. Okay gonna have to go oh shit he's gonna blow up okay gonna have to kind of just roll with the punches here see they're so sad they don't oh, okay this is gonna be good for minecraft room so kill these guys oh but i want to do it here because the pots usually have good items let's do it here You can blow those up with bombs, of course. I'm not getting shit here. Awesome! Waste of an item. You can blow these guys up too. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna put that right there. And Bye guys! Yes, that's a lot of money. It's a good amount of money. And you can get pills too. We don't know what this does. Let's hope it's good. Hemostabilabus. Okay. So here's my dilemma. I could get the map if I kill him and get lucky. Or I could give him money and try and get lucky. Uh, let's just see what happens. If you don't give me something good, I'm going to be so mad, you little bastard. That was worth it. Sweet. Okay. HP up. Gonna go fight a boss here. So yeah, your mom's trying to kill you. It's kind of sad. There's a lot of poop in here. Now, if you were telling someone about this game, it'll sound really juvenile and it'll sound really stupid. But honestly, I think there's a lot more involved with the game. Oh, we got Devil's Room. All stats up, then shuffled. You can kind of see your stats there too. Your speed, your attack, uh, the the speed of your... Because like, normally he's not going to do the, the actual spit fire burst. It's usually just a bunch of little uh, tears, actually, which is really sad. It'll show you all your stuff on the left-hand side, too. And the little thing up there in the top left, that's your seed. If you want to play this exact same match over again, take note of the seed, input the seed. It'll set up the exact same game because normally this is randomly generated. Uh, but... The goodies don't carry over, so like if you unlock things, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna carry over. Normally in these rooms, you can, oh yes. You can trade some life 
for an item. And I really like this one because it gives you a fly hive. Oh, that's a bomb. Wrong button. It's just a couple little flies, um, but it comes back every round. And those things are so freaking helpful. That's a cat too. Oh gosh, I'm gonna do it. Nine lives, okay. That seems very helpful. You normally just have the one. I've gotten a, quite a few of the uh, endings here. Let's see here. See? Those little guys, helpful. Ah! So what I like is that the game's really, okay. It's really about decisions. You just have to figure out, is it worth it to die or to, you know, give up some life in this room to get something that might make you stronger overall? Uh, is it worth it to waste your bomb seeing if there's a secret hole there? Oh, those blow up. That, the flies come in very handy here. All right, this is a challenge room. So if I touch that, I'll get the goodies out of it, but it's gonna have a bunch of people come after me for a challenge. Sometimes you get a boss rush mode, and it's gonna be all bosses. Oh, these guys are awesome. They just come after you, and if you don't kill them all the way, come back to life. But yeah, like I was saying, it's uh, I think there's a lot more to the game. Just because if you look at everything, it's blood, it's, it's fucking wrong button again. It's all about blood and guts and poop, and it's really juvenile. It's like, it's childlike. So some people would suggest that this isn't really happening. This is just something that Isaac is making up in his mind. But I don't know. You could read into this game a lot. You can read into anything a lot, but... I've got to stop pushing the wrong fucking button! That takes two keys. One key, go. Two key, go. <gasps> Ooh. I have not actually been here. I've heard tale of these rooms. You see, these rooms will switch things up for you if you step on them. Yeah. Eat it. Oh, uh, it's gonna blow up! Explosive diarrhea! Okay. The tower. Oh, it's the exact same thing! No, okay. I should have saved those. Well, that was a waste. Um, but you can leave items in there, and it'll change them up for you. I think you can do that with some of the equipable items, too. Oh my god, if I push the wrong button again. Toxic splash damage. Oh, my science face. Oh. There's not going to be a hole there, but I had to check to see if there's a hole there. I'm going to die, and it's going to be this game's fault. Okay. You could also read into the game, like you see that guy right there. He is totally dead. Kind of looks like Isaac, just dead. Hey, that's on sale. Let's buy it. I don't. Cool. Okay. We need life. Grab that and let's just find out. Cool. Okay. I think the wizard thing makes it so you do something. I don't know. I don't know. There's too much going on. Hey, did I miss a room? I did. Oh, that item I picked up gives you double. So like normal items like coins, bombs, things like that, you will get double. 
Uh, yeah, we're good. Let's go. Mega Man! Wait. Mm, too much Smash Bros. Get away. Okay. Shmup time. So, it, I already have them! Wait, no I don't. Stem cells, coup, life up. Yeah, double that money. Ooh, a heart. Ah, oh, poor, I see, he jumped down the hole and dead. Yep, life is hard. All right, we're at the catacombs. So we're gonna pick up here right in just a minute we're gonna make this uh split up into a few parts here but yeah when we come back we're gonna take this up at catacombs number two feel free to check out all the other videos but we'll do a little bit here with this one binding of isaac this is reggie thanks for watching guys